There are a lot of different tools that we have in our toolbox. However, some of the tools that we deploy don't give us instant benefit. It's a long-term benefit. Hello, my name is Bryce Erlbeck. Uh, we're out here in West Central Iowa, specifically Manning, Iowa, on B&B Erlbeck Farms, standing in a field of peas and canola that are intercropped, about ready to be harvested. So one of the big aspects of anything you try is going to be the economics behind it. And while this isn't 100% proven out, this is what we used, and we're collecting data at AgriSecure every year on this. And so this is the average from B&B Erlbeck Farms. As you can see in 2018, it was transition field peas. That was our big learning year that field peas do not work alone for us in our region. Uh, then we inherently went to organic corn in 19. In 20, we came back to the field peas and canola thinking that intercropping system would work after trying it in both 19 and 18 on other fields. And so what we look have here is we have $83 in seed. So we have the pea seed and the canola seed in that, that account. And we go down here, we have $124 of field work, that's uh, tillage, planting, harvesting, cleaning, as well as we look at the overall uh, total of $557 an acre is what we're projecting to have into this uh, farm going forward. So if we look at our total below, we have $557.60 an acre into this, and we think we're going to hit 25 bushels, peas, which it, we're pretty confident that's going to be close average over the farm, and 15 bushel canola, that'll be the the deciding factor on how profitable this is, if we can get that canola back up to 25 bushels. Uh, but we're looking at $600 or $640 an acre of total revenue per this farm and $82 of total profit. And if we look at that overall, we that's acceptable profit for our farm right now, learning how to do it, as well as mixing and mixing that management up from early to late season crops. It allows us probably to make that up in corn as well as if you start factoring in the long term of having the intercropping and just getting fall seeded alfalfa saves us $200 the next year on lost revenue. So if we look at an overall picture of this, after the organic canola and field peas, we'll be going to alfalfa, fall seeded uh, for three years and then back to organic corn. You'll see that on here that the fertilizer line is zero and we as a, as a, as a as a farm, B&B Earlback Farms decided not to do any fertilizer because we didn't want to stimulate any weeds in the peas and canola. And the peas put about enough for, uh, nitrogen in to uh, grow the canola's nitrogen needs. So we looked at that as a synergistic effect and decided more nitrogen, more manure out here would cause more weed growth. It might also cause more uh, yield, yield gain, but that risk of getting more weeds out here versus more gain for the first couple of years, we're going to err on the side of caution and not put fertilizer out here. And we know we're gonna have some residual effect from the organic corn uh, manure going on as well. So it was a conscious decision not to put any fertilizer out here. Uh, this year going forward, we'll reevaluate that and understand better if fertilizer gives us higher yields with the same amount of weeds or higher yields and more weeds to, to get through. So that's why we do recommend um, different crop rotations you can kind of make sure you're playing a long-term game versus a short-term game. We really have to make sure our plans are in place to really acknowledge some of those um, benefits in the future. Uh, one of the things that gets me really excited about intercropping is how it really helps support a robust rotation that you have to have in organic farming. The cool thing about intercropping is that it's a newer experience for many farmers in the Midwest and trying to do it at scale. And with AgriSecure, we have a network of farmers that are all learning together. When we think about doing new practices, it's very hard to think about doing it on your own. You know, we, can make a, we can make a lot of mistakes out on B&B Earlback Farms, but we don't learn very much unless we're learning from a group. And AgriSecure is one of those reasons why we went up to 500 acres of peas and canola this year because we felt comfortable learning from what everybody else was doing. This gave us the best chance of success. But working as a group with other farmers uh, across the country really gives us confidence in, uh, at our farm to be able to make these decisions at a higher level, higher scale, and not on 10, 20, 30 acres. Mm -hmm.